Well, hi everybody, Mindy here, and I thought I'd do an update on the Magic EA because I haven't done one in a couple of days. Today is uh, February 20th. I think today is Wednesday. It's 9.15 a.m., okay? So that's what time it is in the middle of the American trading session. And the markets are moving kind of slow, so I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and do the video update on the Magic EA. Now, what we can see on this main account, this is this first account that you're looking at, is trading the Magic EA on 15 minute settings. The last time I did an update, I think the negative PL was right here in the same range where it still is. You can see that we still have the two original trades which have hedged and quick fixed the hedges and quick fixes for these two original trades have also hedged and quick fixed down here, <laughs> right? So um, we're now on the second level of hedging and quick fixing, right? So anyway, we've been here before. We'll probably be here again before it's over. Other than that, there's just one original trade that's currently open, and it is a USD uh, CAD trade that's an original trade. We also have this USD CAD original trade from the 25th of January that currently has a hedge and a quick fixer on it. Okay, so right now <laughs> most everything in the account is hedges and quick fixes. When we go to the account history what we see is that so far today in this trading day we've closed $24.57 you know, part of that was a hedge and quick fixer that closed. If we want to go see how much we've done so far this week, we'll take the calendar back to Sunday. I can't believe that we're halfway through this week. It's been a very slow week. So far this week, we've only booked $88.42. Part of that problem with the small trades is due to the fact that the markets have been slow. Monday was a bank holiday. Not a lot goes on on bank holidays a lot of times, so that was a very slow day. The other explanation for why the booked profit is so low is that I did go in on uh, the weekend and make some adjustments to the settings files. <laughs> And I think I adjusted them a little too much, <laughs> okay? Um, but what I was hoping to do was to find um, a spot where we could actually make about an additional pip or two off of each trade. But it's not working out so well right now, right? So anyway, it is what it is. But the balance on the account is 12393 the equity is eleven thousand three ninety three, so we have right at one thousand dollars tied up in negative PL at the moment. Of course, this goes up and down; it changes. The second account, this is the one that is trading all twenty-eight of these pairs. The settings on this account have not changed since January seventh, when it began trading. It's trading thirty-minute time frame charts, right? The balance is now 14215 The equity is 13633 There's only $580 in current negative PL. Okay? And three of the trades are hedged and quick fixed. We have three original trades, three hedges and quick fix combinations, and one current original trade, which is actually from yesterday's trading day, February 19th. When we go to the account history, so far today, the account has booked $57.91. And when we go to the custom period and go back to Sunday, this account has closed $150.08. Again, very, very much lower 
in what we would expect three days into the trading week. But, you know, bank holiday and yesterday was just slow markets. Today seems to be pretty slow. So far, anyway, things could pick up this afternoon when we have the Fed statement. On this third account, this is the account that is trading the same 30-minute charts and all 28 pairs, but this account just started trading about two and a half weeks ago. One of the trades that had been in there quite a while closed this morning. This particular trade that's still here, this trade was profitable earlier today, but I, it did not get profitable enough to put the profit stop on by itself, and I did not add it manually. So the trade is now back underwater, right? Which that happens. Okay, now if this was a live account, after having this trade been, be in there for as long as it had been in there, I would have added a profit stop manually when the trade was profitable. But I thought, nope, I'm just going to go ahead and let it play out the way that it, you know, the EA will play it out eventually. Okay, so on the account history, here is the trade that had been in there since the 4th. It closed today on its profit stop, right? So because it had been in there long enough, the swap ate up half of the profit. But that's okay, it's still close for a profit. And then if we want to see how it did so far this week, we'll back the calendar up to Sunday. And since Sunday, it's only close $34.26. Now on this account, I did make adjustments to the settings files. Okay, so the 15 minute chart, uh, 15 minute account and the 30 minute account, I tried making some adjustments. I think I'll adjust them back by the end of the week if things don't pick up here a little bit. So anyway, that's where that stands. If you'd like more information about the EA, you can come to my website, which is mindyyost.com and you'll find all the information that you need about the Magic EA and other EAs that I have developed. You'll also find my email address right up here at the top of my website if you ever want to contact me with questions about how the EAs work or questions about Forex. I'm happy to always answer your questions. Okay, so www.mindyos.com. If you'd like, you can go to my YouTube channel directly from my website and on my YouTube channel uh, you'll find all kinds of videos that I have produced and you would be able to watch about as many videos as you can stand <laughs> okay now when you come to my YouTube channel if you would subscribe to my channel that would be great so anyway, I'd appreciate it if you would. So anyway, that's the update for today. Thanks for listening. I'll do another update probably closer to the end of the week. So happy trading, everybody. Bye for now.